on April 21st, 2013. This is social lesson number nine. Greenbridge friends, Michael here at Bridge Hands, and welcome you to lesson number nine, where we're going to take a look when opener has a major suit, one heart or one spade, and we as responder have less than 10 high card points, but a long minor suit. What's a player to do? Well, first off, we'll take a look at the prerequisite, and you'll recall, like in our last lesson, number eight, we had the scenarios where we're not in a part score in a contract rubber bridge format. So, if we happen to be in that part score, let's say we have a 60 leg, we only need 40 points, our partner opens one heart, we have a doubleton heart, we'd probably be happy enough to go ahead and bid two hearts. Make our two hearts, make our game, make our rubber, life is good. Well, not so today. We're going to take a look at when we do not have a part score. So in these situations, we want to make our best bidding. Now, when our partner has a five card or longer major suit, it's not going to be uncommon that we have a five or longer minor suit. We may have a fit with partner. If so, great. One heart, two hearts, sign off with 69 points. One heart, three hearts, invitational with 10 to 12. Normally three cover cards, you'll recall. And with a weak hand, but five in the major, we oftentimes will just go right to game, not showing interest in slam, just saying sign off. So when we have 10 high card points or more, after partners open one of a major, we can go ahead and bid two of another suit, ostensibly our long suit. For sure, if they open one spade, we bid two hearts. It is a long suit. But today, that's not going to be the case. We're going to take a look at where Responder has this long minor suit. So the prerequisite, we need 25 points or more for game. And if we don't have a fit with the major, then we're heading for what type of a contract? Correct. No trump contract. So um, we're looking for a part score. If we're going to try playing in a two no co trump contract, that requires about 23 points or so. One no trump contract, well, it only makes sense. We have more than half the points, wouldn't you think? So around 21 points. Now, if you have a long suit that might be able to set up, fine. You might be able to do with 19 or 20. But it sounds like the points are about even between both of the opponents. One may get seven, one may get six, right? Somebody's going to make one no trump. Okay. Also, the reality is when we get in these situations where we get bidding to the two level with, say, clubs or diamonds after partner's major suit opener, Oftentimes, we are tempted to make that bid with less than 10 points, including distribution, which we'll speak about in just a minute. That can be a bad theory because we're promising a rebid when we go to the two level. So unless our partner rebids two no trump, let's say it goes one heart, two clubs, two diamonds, we had promised a rebid. We're not supposed to be passing. And if we rebid three clubs, well, we'll get into that in a little bit. Okay, so we're not going to let ourselves be influenced by partial scores here. We're going to pretend as though this is a fresh auction and um, a new game or a new rubber. Okay, so when our partner opens one heart or one spade, it promises five or more. We, as responder, if we have less than three, we're not inclined to bid their suit. We're promising three or more in eight-card gold and fit when we bid partners major suit. So if we're going to bid at the two level, then we should have 10 points or more, including distribution. And how does distribution work? Well, we take a look when we have more than four. When we have five, let's say, we give one extra point. Six, we get two extra points. That's because we're assuming we can set up the suit, provided we have entries to our hands. So if you have something like jack five times, I don't think you're going to get to that suit very quickly to promote the fourth or fifth card in the suit, whereas if it was ace-king five times, well, it's much easier to set up that suit, isn't it? Ace-king-queen five times, good. Ace-king-queen six times, well, you see where we're going here, don't you? Better to have entries in that suit, especially if partner only has one or two cards in that suit, correct? So an outside entry would be good also. If you have an outside ace or king, the primary honors, that is a good thing. Okay. Well, when partner goes one heart and we have a long minor in less than 10 points, what do we do? 
Well, we have to think about is our suit worth rebidding? So if it goes one heart, two clubs, two diamonds, remember we promised a rebid when we came in at the two level. Uh, if we go three clubs, what does that suggest? Are we heading for three no trump? Sort of sounds like it. We've got 10 points or more we promise, including our distribution points, correct? So think about that and be sure that you and your partner have a good feel for what you're doing, whether when your dummy comes down, it's got something like maybe queen five times um, and only one outside entry, maybe an outside ace, an outside couple jacks. Only one outside entry there, only one primary honor, so it's not likely we're going to help our partner much unless they have a higher point hand. Now true, when they bid one heart, they could be 12 to 21 points. And when we bid two clubs, we're promising 10 or more. So they could, when they bid two diamonds, they could have a big hand, but we they shouldn't count on it. We're At this point, we're only counting on them for maybe a minimum hand, 12 to 14. Uh, it doesn't sound like they have 15 to 17. They could have opened one no trump, but it could be a red hand, right? Five hearts and maybe four diamonds or more. Something where they didn't want to rebid one no trump or have enough to go to two no trump, which would require a much bigger hand. So remember, we are thinking about re-entries. We're going to talk about that. Today is going to be a lot about re-entries, especially during the play of the hand. And we do have a better part of a dozen, so we're going to get going on this and get to those pretty quickly. So entries, entries, entries. Things that we want to take a look at is what is the quality of the suit? Do we have working honors? Ace, queen, jack five or six times. Ace, queen, ten is okay. Ace, jack, ten. If we have two in partner suit, we can get a repeated furness. 75, actually 76% chance to make it. Um, how about intermediates? Do we have nines and eights that are connected with a ten? Those are certainly worth something also, aren't they? Provided we have the entries. And the outside, aces and kings are certainly a lot better than jacks and queens to get to our suit to promote that suit. It's all about entries. Well, okay, on our first hand, it's going to be a 5, 3, 3, 2 will be my hand. Uh, I have five hearts, ace, king, five times, queen, jack, third in spades, king, 10, 9, like those intermediates in my diamond suit, and queen nine spot in clubs. I'll open one heart. And over to you, you have a six, three, three, one. And wouldn't you know it, you have a singleton in my heart suit. But you have a six card suit in clubs, ace, jack, six times, four babies, unfortunately, queen, three times in diamonds, and three small spades. Well, after one heart, do you feel like bidding one no trump? doesn't really feel very balanced, does it? It kind of hurts to bid a no trump. You certainly don't want to bid two hearts since you only have a singleton. You'd be promising three. And if I heard you bid two hearts, I might go to three or four, and you don't want to see that happen. Okay, if you go to two clubs, well, you're promising ten points or more. Now, how many points do we have? High card points, four for the ace of spades, one for the jack of clubs, two for the queen of diamonds, seven maybe a couple distribution points for that club suit, but I'm not so sure. You, queen may not be that great an entry, and with only ace-jack, it's kind of marginal. So you can't bid one spade, so one no trump seems to be where you are headed. Now, if you bid two clubs, well, <laughs> that promises a rebid. And uh, I'm saying, well, if you've got 10 points or more, and I've got 15 points, then, geez, I guess I'll, we'll go to three no trump. You see the problem here, don't you? Okay, let's take a look at another one. How about where it is my same hand? This time it's going to get a little worse for you. You have a 7, 4, 2, 1. My goodness. Uh, effectively the same values. This time you have an extra club. Okay. Um, but still only queen fourth in diamonds, so you didn't really pick up a lot. You have a, all your juice in the minors. Now... If it goes one heart, do you feel like going one no trump? It doesn't feel very good with a badly imbalanced hand, does it? So, if you do go one no trump, you're a left-hand opponent. 
they might want to bid spades, right? It's not likely I have four, so they're going to have nine or so between them and the spade suit. They might miss a game. So although we may go down several if everybody passes out, or I might have a bigger hand. I might could have 18 or 19 points. I might be just fine on my own. You see the issue here, don't you? Some of these are not comfortable to bid. So just because you've got a long suit, now if you're preparing to go two clubs and I go two no trump and you go three clubs, your partner may just be happy to go three no trump, especially with that 15 to 17 point hand. Okay, well, let's take a look at another scenario. I have the same hand. This time, I'm worried about you bidding the spade suit because then if I rebid one no trump, it's only 12 to 14. So, you know, I'm going to open this time. I'm going to say, well, I'm going to open one no trump. How about that? A little different. We didn't expect that. But my honors are fairly distributed. And if you look at my intermediate cards, it's good. I am thinking ahead. I'm promising a rebid, whereas if I one heart, one spade, one no trump, then I've got a problem because it sounds like 12 to 14, and if you had 10, we would miss our game. If it's one heart, one spade, two no trump, that should be 18 points, so that would be a gross overbid. So I'm going to open one no trump. And look at you. You have the same as our first hand. That was the ace-jack six times in clubs. So you hear one no trump for me, 15 to 17 points. What do you think? You're going to bid two clubs. Well, it should be a stamen if you and your partner are playing the stamen convention. That isn't it. Three clubs. Some people play that as saying, I have a long suit. I have interest in three no trump. Or are you passing? Not a bad method, is it? Or you could just bid two no trump and not disclose the fact that you've got some shortness in the major. Right? You don't have three of the hearts and you don't have four of spades. So therefore, you must be pretty long in the minors. So there's two ways to do that depending upon your partnership agreement. So after one no trump, you bid, let's say, two no trump to invite. Yeah, I, I might want to go three no trump with that. If it's three clubs, well, I have a queen and the nine spot. I might give some extra values for that nine. That might be worth something. You'll see more of that when you get to the table today. Okay, so um, how about the next one? Okay, in our last virtual hand before heading to the table, we're going to have a little different situation. This time, we're going to be generous. And we're going to give you, the responder, more than nine higher card points. You'll have five in a minor and four in a major. So do you want to bid your four-card major first or your five-card minor? Let's take a look. Okay, I am holding a 5-4-2-2 two, two in hearts. Ace-king, five times again. This time, in spades, I have ace-jack four times. In diamonds, king, jack, doubleton, a little bit of a questionable honors there, and ten doubleton in clubs. So, in hearts, seven high, one distribution for my good suits, eight. In spades, another five, ace, jack, four times. Left to 13. I'm not going to give myself anything for that jack of diamonds by will for the king, so certainly it's a... Uh, Good hand, 15, 16-ish points. Uh, it doesn't feel like a no-trump hand, does it? Everything's lopsided in the majors, and majors are usually where it's at to play a game. So I will open one heart in this situation. If you bid spades, that's fine. I'm going to take off. I'll probably go to two, three spades here, and you bid a spade. But you as responder have a five-card club suit. So should you bid spades, you have four of them, king four times, but you have... More than 10 high card points this time, don't you? Let's take a look at just the high card points. In clubs, three for the queen jack. In diamonds, another six for the ace queen. Okay, up to nine. We do give something for a jack doubleton because it's in my suit, your partner's suit. Okay, and with the game clubs, you're up to 13 points, so you can feel a game. Now, you may be inclined to go for the spade game, but you might, might be missing a slam in the minor. So I would suggest that bidding two clubs first, and this does not deny a four card spade suit. You could have six or seven in the club suit. So getting back to me, after you bid two clubs, 
I could bid two no trump, but shouldn't I really be bidding spades? You're promising a rebid with your two club, and I think two spades really describes the shape of my hand. I have five hearts, I have four spades. This way we don't end up in a no trump contract and um, them starting to play diamonds. And if we don't promote our cards first, all of a sudden they set up a diamond suit because they have nine cards if we only have four. You get the point. So the situation would be one heart, two clubs. Does not deny four spades. Okay, and then at that point, we don't want to play three no trump probably, do we? We like to play in four spades. Okay, well, let's go ahead and have the table. We have about a dozen hands to play, lots of things on entry, so we'll be thinking about those factors we spoke about. The quality of our suit, clubs or diamonds, if that's what happens to be in. What is the situation for the opportunities to finesse, to set the suit up? If it's ace-king, great. That's directly promotable. If it happens to be ace-queen, better. If it's king nine five times or six times, not quite so good, is it? Intermediates, some of those tens and nines and eights might be helpful. And the outside entries, aces and kings are what we're looking for, right? Okay, see you at the table. Well, okay, our first hand, south will be the dealer. We've seen this hand before. That's the five, three, three, two. Ace, king, five times in hearts. Queen, nine spot in clubs. King, ten, nine, nice in diamonds, and queen, jack, three times in spades, touching honors. We like it. We definitely have enough for an opening hand. We'll open one heart. Over to the west hand, it's a four, triple, three. Uh, two kings in the black suits, uh, king, ten, nine in spades, king, eight, seven in clubs, jack three times, not so hot in diamonds, and a queen, jack, nine, four times in righty, south, hard suit. That we like. But spread honors, nice defensive hand. We're not going to make a call, a pass. To the north hand, there's that 6331. Look at the clubs ace, jack, and four small. Singleton, ten of hearts, wouldn't you know, in partner south, heart suit. Queen, three times in diamonds. We would prefer a primary entry, wouldn't we? And three small spades. So, uh, if we bid two clubs, we're promising 10 points or more, and we do not have that even with distribution, as though we should count distribution, right? No, we don't really have enough to get the suit set up. If it was ace-queen six times, maybe. Ace-jack six times, I don't think so. So, it's got to be a one no-trump bid. It only hurts for a minute, as they say, so one no-trump is the call. Over to the east hand. 4-4-3-2, four, four, um, ace 8, 7, 6 in both of the pointed suits, spades and diamonds. 10, double 10 in clubs. And 8, 7, 6 in hearts. No call there, a pass. In south, do we want to make another bid? Well, we have a balanced hand. Uh, we might have considered opening one no trump. We'll come to that a little bit later. Uh, no, not two no trump. We don't want to invite. Remember, our partner has 6 to 9. Don't figure they're going to have 9 all the time. So, unless you've got... 17 or 18, don't bid two, no trump. Okay, so pass and certainly pass out over by the west hand. So it's your lead over an east. What do you want to lead? Do you want to lead a spade, the unbid suit, fourth best, or top of nothing heart, figuring that they don't have a heart fit, maybe you can hit your partner. So yes, this east goes ahead and plays a heart, not the fourth best, Top of nothing. They don't have any honors there. Don't confuse your partner. So eight of hearts it is for them. To the ace, uh, over in the west hand, you'd like to show an encouraging signal, but you hate to give up the nine, don't you? And you don't see the ten coming from the north hand, which is actually the declare in this situation. So you just have to play a two and hope that later on partner will figure out what's going on. And by the way, over in the east hand, before you made your opening lead, they stopped at one no trump. They should have about 20 to 22 points, wouldn't you think? 23, I would hope they would invite game. So if you have eight, that gets you up to about 30. Your partner should have the better part of about 10 points somewhere, right? Okay, good thinking. All right, so uh, declare north, wins the ace in the south. They have six in the suit. The opponents have seven, four, three, or five, two. Not good things there. And uh, certainly we don't want to break the pointed suits with we're 3-3, three, three, so clubs is where it's at. 
So we'll go ahead and play the Queen of Clubs and see what happens. The Queen of Clubs comes out and West covers it. Well, should they cover it the first time is a question. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Now, over in West, you know that South is somewhat balanced. They didn't rebid two hearts or they didn't rebid two diamonds showing that they had a red hand. Looks like they have a 5 3 3 2. So I think it's okay in this situation, but there are times when it's not the right action. All right, the ace wins it, and um, a six comes from the east end. You could play high-low, but I don't know if that's advisable with the ten there. Okay, so what do you want to do? You've got a winning hand here. You can see you can win, and so far so good. If you play your cards in the right order, declare north, you've got your game made. But the knight is young. Let's see what happens next. They play the queen of clubs, um, drops the ten, good. They play another club, and uh, oh, it looks like now east-west is in a situation when something happened. We'll come back to that again, won't we? Okay, so now if you play heads up east-west, you can get a winning action. Well, you saw your partner play the eight of diamonds, that's good. And you know that they've got the better part of ten points themselves since they stopped in one no trump. Uh, get your hearts first of all, okay. Go ahead and play your queen of hearts, yes. And by the way, you could have played the jack or the nine, couldn't you? The queen might suggest playing a high ranking card. You want a high ranking suit to get back to the hand. Come back to me in a spade. I've got the king of spades. If not, at any rate, Okay, a uh, little discouragement by East. Geez, why didn't they come back in the diamond? Oh, I guess they're setting up. And sure, I see where they pitched a spade in the north hand, the declare hand. I got it. Okay, so you're back in again. Um, you'd like to go back with a club, but you have none. Entry, 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 right? So it's the diamond suit. Well, how could we do that? If East has got the ace, we go up to the queen. I'll just take it away. I'll we'll never get in. Why don't we start with the king, first of all? See what that does. We play the king, and do they win with the ace? No. East is good on you. You went up with a six, not with the ace. You're going to keep a cover card of the ace over the queen. I like it. Okay. So you've won the trick over in south, and um, I guess another diamond. Play a ten. They cover it, which, by the way, is the correct action. We win the queen in the north, and the ace wins it. So win or play. You're going to set them. Okay. So far, east-west, you've got two tricks now. Play heads up. You play the heart to your partner. Excellent. You saw north was out. They win the next heart. Okay. Everything's going good so far, swimmingly. Okay. Can you come up with the right play? Will you play a spade to the ace? Okay. And now a spade comes back to the king. Okay. Um, what happens next? You've got six tricks, but um, either a spade or a diamond. North, south. <laughs> you came back and you made your bacon after all, didn't you? Well, how about that? So the worm turned several times. First of all, the auction might have opened one no trump. We'll get to that later. A pass. No trump, fine. You don't want to end up in three no trump or something like that. You see, you have a hard enough time making one no trump. Um, three clubs, yeah, you might be able to stop there with some partners. Uh, passed out. The opening lead, a heart, probably a lot would lead the spade. Um, okay, so the lead was a heart, and we saw from there the auction one where we tried to promote the clubs that didn't, and it all boiled down to where was that ace of diamonds. If we can get to the Ace of Diamonds, we have three, right? If the Ace of Diamonds over in East, we're going to come home free. But entries is what this hand was all about. Let's try it a little bit different this time, see if we can do a little bit better line of play. 